Alright, I'm recording again. Wait, I met some people. I hope my tablet doesn't say F you stop recording. Why is there a on it? Extra bait. Boom. <laughs> oh, all the way to the other side of the bubbles. Alright, rip it through there, rip it through. Gotta Reel it in fast. I'm reeling fast. Just rip that in here. Yep, there you go. Yeah. I really can't believe I'm getting the bait this far. That's a nice cast, man. I, I didn't get her kissing the fish on camera. <laughs> I'm upset. It's your boy Spartan throwing a bluegill bait and you stepped on the pole. You said Spartan? Yes. Is that your name? Spartan Ian Harmon. Yeah. My real name's Ian. I've got no clue where my line went. Right out in front of you. I can see it. Oh. <laughs> I think it's funny watching a newbie fish. I've been fishing since I was five. <laughs> this is this is great, but if if I catch Goliath in here, I'm putting him in a pool. <laughs> yeah, if I, if I catch him you in there. Oh, I didn't I didn't get the I didn't get it on video. I didn't get the picture on video. Uh, Damn. Um, I will I will be moving soon, so I'll come over here every once in a while to fish. Be like, hey, Dad, remember the old neighborhood we lived in? Yeah, take me back there. I want to fish. I'll be fishing like every every day this week, right after work, because I start my new job like tomorrow morning. Where do you work at? I'm gonna be working at Office Depot. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm such a meme lord. I can't. I can't stop being a meme lord. I hate to do this, but I must cast over there. All the way across the bubbles again. It's a Shakespeare encore. It's, this is a $300 pole. And some guy decided he was going to take it from me. Like some DNR officer decided he was gonna take it from me as well as my wallet and my tackle box. That didn't go over very well for him. He got fired and arrested because he had done it to 42 other people. You got a fishing license? Yes, I do. See my pocket. Yeah, you don't need a fishing license out here, do you? It's private property? Uh, it was a cop that lived in the neighborhood. I don't know where he went, but no, this is not private property. This is public property. Is it? Yeah, 10 feet from the water is public property. So right right about where her chair ends, right behind the back of her chair is... Actually, you see the sign over there that mm -hmm. says no wading, skating, or yeah. swimming? Yeah, that from that sign in to the bank. Well, from that sign down, people cannot own. Like, people cannot claim it as theirs. Dude, there's a hat over here in the water. Huh? There's a hat right there. There's a hat. <laughs> Just sitting. It is a... Spi it's a spiced rum hat. <laughs> and it's all kinds of beat up. <laughs> Ugh. It's for spiced rum. I don't drink spiced rum. <laughs> I drink vodka. Vodka is best because it's the Russian drink. It makes you toasty and warm. And there's fish all around this pond. Because my dad and I restocked it. 
like after the fish kill because there was like dead fish all over the bank. We had to get DNR out here to clean it up. Yeah, that, that was when we had to call DNR out here to clean it up and everything. Um, yeah, but my dad and I, we went to other neighborhoods, took fish out of there and put them in here. We took maybe two or three fish from each place. I brought maybe 50 bluegill in here and we brought about 13 bass. And I think they're, they're thriving now because I see bluegill everywhere. Yep, it's normally a good idea. I'm in it more for the fight with the fish than I am just to than I am just to be out here. Subscribe for more amazing content. I'm not catching anything. <laughs> this is about 15 minutes after my last vlog. I think my camera stopped recording. I'm kind of upset. I'll have to go back and watch the other footage because if I'm if it stopped recording and I missed anything, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, dude, you can walk all the way around the pond. No one's gonna care. I mean, people come out and yell at you because they think you're they think you're on their property. Nah, ten feet from the water, bud. You don't own it. Up to the sign. Woo! I don't know if my dad's gonna come out and fish or not. If he does, then I'm going to have to stop recording because he's, he's a bit of a stickler when it comes to me having a camera. I, I record everything I do because I want it publicized. <laughs> Hey, and if you're looking to bluegill fish, that little pocket corner over there. Yeah, but there's there's stuff in the water over here and they like structure. They'll be all over it, same as the bass. Come on over and join me. Wow. Oh, that was a bass in front of me that just they just bolted. I'm upset now because I didn't catch him. That one bass was waiting under the surface over there and he just smash. He made a smash and grab and then he ran. Anyway guys, these are uh, two lovely, lovely fishermen that I have met. They love, they, they actually have been out here before, like last night, so. Meeting new fishermen is always very, very good. It's very healthy for you, especially if you can find buddies to fish with. Now, I don't have a fishing buddy because my dad never comes out anymore. So, I might be able to uh, co-host with somebody for a vlog. Maybe, oh! What is this? No, whatever it was was huge. Fuck! Ah, I got off the line. <laughs> Oh, dude, one of my hooks is bent. Your hook is bent? Dude, it bent the treble hook. Whatever that was was a freaking monster because my pole was bent over sideways. You think there's cats in this one? If there are, then that's a goddamn blessing because it was like that. It was, it was, bruh, bruh, what is on the end of my line? That, that had to be it was right out in front. I cast it towards the bank over there and it, I just drug it across and whatever it was hit me hard and fast. That had to be at least and then it pounder, and then it was just dead weight, dead weight, like bringing it up. It was fighting and everything and then it was just gone.
Like, I was bringing it in about this speed, because this is, this is how fast I bring it in with a swim bait, and it hit me right about there. Just, it slammed the hell out of me. Whatever it is, is fucking huge. Yeah, it is. It might be bigger than Goliath. If it's another bass in here bigger than Goliath, then it's going to be named Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Boom. We got Jesus in the pond, everybody. If it's a catfish, it's going to be named Tank. <laughs> or Beans. Beans. Man, that's the first bass I've caught out here. I came fishing yesterday and today. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Oh, I didn't get to see what it was, but whatever it was made a giant ass boil. Like, on top of the water? Like, like this kind of boil. Like, like that. It was uh -huh. whatever, and I didn't see it come up to the surface, which means if it was dive, if it was dive bombing, whatever its tail was that hit the surface, it must have been fucking huge. God dang it. I'm furious. I'm furious about multiple things right now. Ready Player One hasn't come out yet on DVD. I'm pissed about that because the freaking advertisements keep lying. And then I missed this giant fish. If there was a catfish and I had to get in the water to get it, I would have. Oh yeah. Oh, Dude, yeah. You, don't, you don't flip or die a catfish. No. No, you get in the water and grab that son of a uh -huh. bitch. Something yeah. right there just busted. Cause man, she had, she had bites on a, a bass with her little pink pole and I know her line's not strong enough to take it, so I was about to hop Are you sure? Because I've, I've caught 12 pound bass with two pound test line. Really? Yes. And I've flipper dyed them out of, into the boat. No shit. Using the same kind of bait as this. I mean, I have more of them if you ever need one. Like, I, I'm willing to share. Where do you get them at? I got it at Dick's. Like, I, was, I went and put in job applications, and then as I was walking out of the store, they just handed me a package of baits. I was like, thank you? Fuck yeah, Fuck yeah. free bait. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Grab your grab your pole and come over on on this side. See if we can catch anything over here. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can pull anything in. Ah, damn. So this this guy, he understands my pain when missing a big fish like this. Like, damn it. Whatever this motherfucker was, it was fucking huge. Whatever it was and whatever it is, I want it to hit again, but then again, I know it won't because of it getting hooked already. However, if it was Goliath, that means he's in here and he's hungry and he'll eat everything. Like, he used to eat other bass. Just so you know, Goliath used to eat other bass. Really? Yeah. Like the smaller bass, he wasn't having that. He would eat them. He would, just he would just straight up swallow him. He's a monster. Literally and figuratively. I also think he was kind of brain dead to pain. Because you could hook him multiple times and he wouldn't care. Like I would catch him three or four times. Are they leaving? Alright, grab your other pole. We're gonna, we're gonna wrap around the other lake. All right, guys, I'm going to stop recording. If I catch anything big, I'll let you know.